The redesigned Mastercase H500 P by Cooler Master now features a mesh front panel for maximum airflow to the 200mm RGB fans, improved mounting for the front and top panels, and the same distinct looks and helpful features as the original, like cable routing covers, 360 rad support, and a tinted tempered glass side panel. It's available in white and gunmetal gray, so click the sponsor link in the description to learn more. Excellent! Hey guys, and welcome to Paul's Hardware. It is springtime, and of course springtime is that magical time of the year when a young man's fancy turns to love. But I'm married, so instead I'm going to clean. So just so you guys know up front, just gonna be doing some hard work today and some cleaning. I have some other projects too, so uh, I'll take you along for the ride. I hope you enjoy, and to make sure that things uh, are even more effectively done, I have Joe. Joe's gonna help me clean. Are you excited, Joe? He told me there was gonna be pie. Oh, we'll, we'll get pie later. Yeah. Continuing my odyssey of unboxings and stuff of lighting equipment, I have two more LED lights here. These are Draycast LEDs, and we're going to get them out of the box and installed onto our C stands. Uh -huh. like, 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 like. Oh, <laughs> Bag. Pouch. Oh look, more barn doors. It has a it has a gel in there, just a clear diffusion gel right now. And these are just little stoppers on the side. You can pop up to keep the gel from sliding out. Oh, it's a very light. It's a light light. Oh, you can put batteries here. That's yeah, cool. so it's got this adapter, um, so you can use these 7.2 volt batteries. It's it's a standard type of battery, um, and that just, it's just so you can make them portable. I'm mostly going to be using them plugged in because it's got AC power too. What happened, Paul? Uh, I, I lost the light bulb. You know, it's fun, because these light bulbs, these are fluorescents. These came with the lighting kit, and I, like, none of them, these don't, these haven't really burned out. These have done a really good job and not burned out. And the first thing I did, removing one here, is just dropped it on the ground and it popped. I feel horrible. Well, I die with honor. Hey, at least the dogs are at the vet. <laughs> it's actually a really good timing for the dogs to be at the vet. This is the original Cowboy Studio lighting kit um, that I got when I first started doing YouTube videos on my channel from my apartment many years ago. And it is just disintegrated. And there's parts of it that are still perfectly fine, like this is fine. The actual base unit for all the light bulbs is fine, but this is the diffusion thing and it's just disintegrating. This wasn't exactly high quality fabric or anything like that. Table's looking much cleaner already. We are proceeding with uh, disassembling the CES 20, 2018 build. This is the build that we brought to CES that Joe edited on, and we're done with it. Gonna take it apart. We have now come to the most interesting part of the day. Joe's proceeding with the arrangement and sorting of the screws. Yes, I have lots of screws and now they're sorted. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Actually, I still have to sort these. Small project here to take uh, the LED Mount it up here in the corner uh, so we can use it kind of as a hair light. And I want it about here, that way I can angle it down to this area where we're sitting when, we, when I'm sitting at the desk and doing stuff, but also so I can turn it to angle it down towards the main work table over here. So I, I discovered that like, I don't know how long ago I bought these. I went and I bought several of these things and these, are, these can be used to, to, to mount this to. And then I have a bunch of adapters here. So for quarter inch or eighth inch, screws, um, which are kind of the standard uh, mounting screws that uh, you have with photography equipment and that kind of thing. And I have several adapters with this. So you should be able to take this, combine it with either like a ball head so I can mount that to that and just have it mounted on the ball head so you can loosen that and angle it around. Or I've got this little magic arm here and uh, that could also be used in the same way. So we'll see which, uh, which works best. It's field trip time, we are headed over to Lowe's. Uh, we were thinking about Home Depot, but Lowe's is, is right over here. And I have a list of things that we need to get there, including a grubbing hoe. If you guys don't know what a grubbing hoe is, just stay tuned. I thought we were getting pipe, Paul. No, we are getting pipe, too.
probably the most important thing on my list. Make sure you have a working carbon monoxide alarm in your home. Uh, but Joe over here has been handling the screws. So we got three eighths inch screws. Uh, we're going for ones that will hopefully be able to thread through a two by four and then still give us some threading on the outside. So we got a two inch, a few two inch ones and we got some two and a half inch ones there too. And we brought along my ball head here so I could double check and make sure the threading was appropriate for that. And it is. Uh, also some nuts, cause you gotta have nuts and washers. Jesus Christ. Got Mjolnir, Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker? I am worthy of both. Oh, you haven't seen Infinity War yet, have you? No. Sorry, spoilers. Pa found his hope. Found the hoe. This is like a, this one has a spike on the end. It's dangerous. We're investigating wheelbarrows. We need a wheelbarrow to go along with the, uh, the grubbing hoe down there. Wheelbarrows are now DIY. Build your own wheelbarrow. You get to choose from your selection of wheelbarrow tubs, and then you get a, the handles, and you get the box of gear, and that goes along with it, so. Which tub which tub looks best, Joe? Yeah, I go with the red. The That's red? Cool. The yeah. red tub? That's the Trooper 6 cubic feet straight loop handle wib. That's this one, here. The Trooper Ergo. All right, that sounds good. On second thought, we are not gonna get the red one, we're gonna get the gray one. It's 30 bucks cheaper. Sorry, Joe, I got this. I'm filming, Paul. No problem. You got it. Cool. Yeah. That's, I guess that's why people invest in the easy up because this this is a not easy up. This is a hard up, I think. <laughs> hard. How does that happen? Damn you, nature. Damn you. So part of the criteria working with Paul is not only construction work. Okay. Perfect 45 degree cut. Awesome. It's 46. It's 46, 46 degrees. Yeah. Getting sawdust on the rising box. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Something to make your life easier. Pre-drill pre -drill the holes and like have like the points sticking out like that. That way oh, yeah. when you like try to like find a hole, you can like guide yourself and it's like get stuck in the way. And then like there you go. Alright. Since we couldn't like have much of a clearance up here, we had to do this thing. That way that's more attached and secured, so. It'll be easier to remove if I ever have to as well. Yeah, so now I gotta do this guy up here and we're good to go. Bunch of dust all over your expensive stuff. It's all right, we covered it. We put a towel down there. I love these drills. There you go. Impact drill. That's the best. That's secure. It's redwood too. Yeah. Redwood. So we got that guy. Not too tight, but there you go. That's pretty secure there. Cool. Nice. Spin it, rotate it. Beautiful. Next time on Paul's Hardware, Paul Cable manages all this mess up here. It's coming, guys. It's coming soon. But not yet. New extra long power strip. It's gonna go over here, placing all of my cables on the ground. Gonna mount it underneath. Gosh, that looks horrible. <laughs> this is a rare angle that we shoot here at Paul's Hardware. Always free draw your holes. Yes, I know I should be wearing safety glasses. If anyone's wondering about the hole in the drywall over there, that was the one time that Hero got locked in the garage.
All right guys, the sun is going down on Sunday and I've been working this weekend. Joe was here of course on Friday, but I've gotten more stuff done. So let's take stock real quick before I end today's video. I got the easy up up. This isn't really an easy up, but uh, I actually completely forgot this was a screened in thing, but it's good to have out here now that we've uh, got some shade so we can work since it's been getting hotter. Look, I built a wheelbarrow. Very excited that I built a wheelbarrow. I didn't know they came in DIY kits these days, but uh, it wasn't too difficult to put together. And now I can dig stuff and put it in it and cart it around. Yay. Moving into the garage though, I have to first point out this big pile of boxes. This is what I'm gonna finish doing this evening. I still have work to do. These are all boxes that are left over from uh, stuff that's arrived recently. So I'm going to finish the video by um, tearing all those down so I can put them out with the recycling. Look, my main work table is all cleared off. Got the mod mat set up there. I have vacuumed, sort of cleaned the floor. So I've gotten a lot of the dog hair and stuff off of that, which is really nice. Table's pretty clean, uh, but look at the lack of cable clutter that's on the ground down here now. With the undermounted power strip right there, I can just plug stuff in okay. as needed and not need to have that power strip down there. I rarely show this corner of the garage because it's really not very tidy and it's not finished up here and there's still lots of work to be done. But I did want to at least point out that I wall mounted the power strip that was also hanging out down here that had a bunch of stuff attached to it that was also a tripping hazard and sucked to have there. So this corner is not exactly where I wanted it. I wanted to wall mount this thing too. It didn't quite get there, but I'll do that in the future. And look at that, all the boxes are cleaned, broken down. I even got them out for the recycling and it's now Monday. And look at that, we got more work to do. Joe's back, so uh, we're gonna get to work on this. So hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you wanna see what's going on with all this hardware. This isn't even all the hardware for the next video that I'm working on, I'm excited. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this garage work log of me doing work in my garage and definitely hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching this one guys and we'll see you next time.